Welcome to my video review. Hi guys, uh, a bit of a different one from me. Now, this has come about because of Halloween. For Halloween this year, I've been kind of looking at different ideas for um, for sort of simple, quick dressing up sort of costume ideas and what have you for going out. And um, and I've been looking at cosmetic contact lenses. And today my kit arrived. So I'll just go right ahead with the unpackaging and show you what we've got. This order is from uh, eyesbright.com. I will put a, uh, a little link uh, in the uh, explanation box down underneath here. And uh, eyesbright.com, they do a massive, massive range of contact lenses. Uh, everything from sort of natural colours to your really freaky stuff, including your scleral lenses that cover the whole of the eye. So in the package we have the lenses themselves, um, as you can see there. They are sealed both ends and you've got a little thing there showing the actual magnification power which is zero because these are just cosmetic ones that don't actually alter your vision at all but you can get them made in your prescription if you have prescription lenses for example. Um, also we have these being my first pair, basically I just went and got the whole sort of thing which um, includes the fluid and a lens case in this box here. And, uh, that's what we have in there as well as the receipt. So I've already sort of snipped the, uh, the seal on this side and we have some instructions and then the lenses each packaged individually. Uh, they're both exactly the same but they're packaged individually. So they're in a little blister pack in a shipping solution. Um, and the lens looks kind of like this. Hopefully that will, uh, that will focus. It's probably not gonna come across very, very easily on there, but there's sort of like a pale goldy yellow sort of thing with a, a slightly darker yellow rim. And these particular lenses are packaged as um, as avatar, um, obviously supposed to, supposed to be uh, representative of the eyes you saw in the Avatar movie. And what I'm after is a kind of a, a yellowy sort of um, spooky look. Um, what I really wanted was the large black scleral lenses. However, being a complete sort of uh, contact lens virgin, as it were, I was a bit scared about something so big, putting something so big in um, as a, a first sort of go. So I thought I would try something cheaper and smaller and see how I get on with those and we'll, we'll go from there. Um, so you've got the description on the front, crazy lens, uh, contents 45% water, 55% ter polymer, which is obviously the lens material. Immersed in sterile buffered saline solution and it's marked sterile, obviously sterile until you lift and peel and break this open. Now, <clears throat> the instructions, see if they say anything relevant. Well, we've got a, an instruction sheet in um, various different languages giving hints and tips on fitting. So, what do we have? At the very top of the sheet, you've got a nice little diagram there, which just gives you a general overview of on insertion and removal, and shows you uh, up here the you've got the the cross and the tick, which shows you how to tell if your lenses are the right way around. We'll have a look at that when we get to it. Now, I will make a point of saying this is all new to me. I'm a first time. Uh, I'll do, I will be a first time user of contact lenses. Uh, I do wear glasses, but these, as I said, these are just purely cosmetic and I will be a first time user of contact lenses. So I, I don't pretend that this is an instructional video on, on how to uh, care for, uh, fit, remove or what have you contact lenses. This is basically just more for informational purposes and just to show you what I have. And there are plenty of brilliant videos on YouTube if you search around for how to remove how to insert and how to care for your contact lenses from people who've clearly been wearing them for a long, long time. 
Uh, so in this little box here, we've got a lens case with different coloured caps marked L and R accordingly. And then we've got a little bottle of solution and inside the box here we have got some kind of instructions which I will open up and uh, we'll have a read of in just a second. The contact lens case has been cleaned. Uh, the lenses are here and the solution is here. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is clean the lenses uh, as per description. I'll wash my hands first. Clean the lenses, do the rubbing method and, um, and then rinse them off with the solution and then fill this up with solution put the lenses in. There's the lenses. I uh, don't know how well these will show up. Um, oh there you go, there's the lenses in, in the case. And pop the left and right covers back on. Nice and tight. And that will sit in there for 24 hours. So it's going to be tomorrow night before I can actually try these. In this portion of the video I'll be putting in the contact lenses. Now um, I'm hoping this is going to go relatively smoothly because this, this will be the second time that I've put these in. I did put them in um, just yesterday in front of a mirror and it was, it was actually quite easy. Now today I don't have the advantage of a mirror because I'm trying to sort of show it on the camera so I'll be doing it in front of the camera using the camera screen. So kind of hoping that that works out okay. I've got a contact lens case here. It's been sitting in the solution. Um, I've got a solution bottle just here. And um, here we go. Okay. So I'm going to do the left eye first and uh, scoot in a little bit so hopefully you can see that clearly. And you can see my natural eye colour. I've got quite dark eyes. Um, so this was a little bit of a concern when I got these lenses because I wasn't sure really how it was going to go uh, but they cover them amazingly well. So I scoop out the lens you can see there Give that a little bit of a massage. Make sure it's well seated. Now you can see as well, hopefully I can demonstrate this, how it will naturally float into place once placed on the eye. There you go. Now, the, um, you can see the colour difference there is, is really quite remarkable uh, because these are printed lenses um, rather than tinted. So um, it's a very bold colour and it will cover dark eyes just fine as you can see there. If it feels a little awkward at first just roll your eye around and blink a few times and it will seat itself and it should center itself perfectly over your eye like so. Um, I really like the look of these, I think they're kind of funky and uh, for, for Halloween these are going to be great with my uh, Vamp Fangs vampire teeth and uh, I'm kind of looking forward to wearing them for that. So uh, yeah they're surprisingly comfortable, I, ha I don't have any others to compare them to uh, at present so I can't say how they compare comfort wise com uh, in uh, comparison to other brands for example. Um, but as a first time contact wearer these I've worn them for sort of um, three or four hours already and they've been absolutely fine. So here we have one lens removed. Um, I'm going to show you the cleaning procedure with that and pop that into the case with its fresh, fresh solution. So essentially 
you need a drop of lens solution inside and then a drop on the outside and this is as recommended by the instructions provided with the lens. I'm going to try and get that so we can focus for you. So you can see it just fits your curve of the thumb there, making sure you've not got any uh, rubbish on your hands of course, wash your hands as with fitting them and just give that a gentle rub, sort of 10 seconds or so. Uh, not too hard because they do feel quite thin and they do feel like they could be damaged easily. So, and then once you've done, have a quick visual inspection for, oh, so I've got to run out of focus there, sorry. Uh, have a quick visual inspection for any damage or debris in there. And pop them face down in your lens solution in your case so that they're covered by solution. Add more solution if you need to. This is about half full, uh, but add more if you need to. If you're going to be carrying them around, I would probably fill it up to almost to the brim to make sure that they're going to be covered at all times. But if you put them in facing down, this means that the solution gets into all areas. If you put them in facing up, there could be a bubble underneath where the solution's not reaching. So, we now do the same with the left lens, and I'll show you how to remove that. So similar to putting them in, you hold the eye open, slide the lens down, and then pinch and remove. And it really is that easy. Now this, this bit I was worried about, uh, but I, find, I actually find this bit much, much easier uh, than the putting them in. And there's the lens in its bowl shape with the obvious printing differences as you can see there and I'm just going to go ahead and do the same cleaning procedure on this lens and then put them away uh, if you're going to store them not use them for a while it's recommended you change the fluid sort of fairly frequently hopefully this uh, this has been useful to somebody that's been uh, considering um, the use of contact lenses whether they whether they be cosmetic or um, or non-cosmetic um, but yes, I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching.